So uh, we are finally off of the ship at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Uh, we had a meetup time for our excursion of the hot air balloon, the helium ride. That was at 7.15. They were dead set on not letting us off the ship until 8 to 8.30. Yeah, hey, we're, we're, we're a little bit of negative answers this morning. I would have liked to sleep, okay? But we're getting ready to test out this fort. We're gonna be here at least until five o'clock and we're gonna spend every minute off the ship. We are currently the second group of people. All right, let's do it. The, uh, the helium air balloon, hot air balloon, is not expected to fly all day today. Apparently it has high winds, so uh, we can come back at any time and maybe if it's running they'll let us go, but uh, we expect for it to not be open or running all day. Bit of a rocky start, but uh, this place is pretty cool. Water slides so far have been awesome. There were a couple Water on the tower, the lower side, that were like so slow, but uh, though I think I liked the ones on the other side better. Yeah, they the, were like uh, its, its own little tower. Really good. Yeah, all of them are really good on that side where you got the slingshot, the twister. Lie to me, tell me it's so warm. So warm. <laughs> Yeah, we're just looking for a place to get some food. We got about an hour until the food opens up. Another downside of getting here so early for, for the air balloon is that now no food is open yet, so we're hungry. And no food till 11.30, so we're waiting to get something to eat. We're gonna go get a drink. Sun's starting to come out, starting to warm up a little bit. Feels good, so let's go find something to drink. I'm thirsty.
we came earlier, we rode a bunch of rides, we left, we had some drinks, had some food, and decided we'd come back and do the Daredevil. So you, you've seen this tower that they do of water slides, the very, very tallest slide, I guess is their most popular. So it's um, also the, the tallest, I think, in North America. And we walk three quarters of the way up that tower to find out you have to have a card to ride this ride to try to keep the lines down. She said sometimes it's as long as like an hour. Right now there's no, none. There's no one even riding it, which is interesting. There was a total of three people while I was waiting in line had the cards to even go into it. Yeah. At two o'clock they'll open it up and anybody can ride. So we can ride it after two o'clock, but that's just frustrating that we came here for this water park. No one told us that you had to ride at a certain time. It, so we planned things around it. So wish if, we knew. If we would have known that we had to get a card at some point, yeah. we would have got one so that we could have gone on the ride. But, but now it's... You know, after two o'clock, we have plans to do it. And the only way that we can ride it now is if we decide that we want to cancel everything else because they have this rule that they don't tell anybody about. So he went down to the next slide, which I didn't want to do because it's the one that just drops out. From a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist There's so many that never get out They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go where we want to the end And we run without shit We all forget Day of Coco K is it's a perfect. Well, not a perfect day, but almost uh, a perfect day. The almost, almost perfect day at Coco K. <laughs> it was actually so there was a lot of really good. There was a couple of bad. Some we had really a couple bad, of hiccups. It's fine. We never got to ride the uh, the hot air balloon. Oh yeah, the hot air balloon and the tallest slide. And the tallest slide, which is like the whole reason why you get the slide package. I mean, the, we enjoyed the slides that we did. So like realistically, I would not complain except for the fact that it's just like the thing that you would want to do to tell everyone that you did, we didn't do. Yeah, the, the water slides were really, really good. Um, we, we enjoyed the ones we did. Uh, Stacy's not a big water slide person, 
and she really enjoyed every one that we went on pretty much. Well, good. we went on like the really tiny one that I literally stopped in the middle of it. I pushed myself a little. That was not enjoyable, but, but it was like a kitty one. It's fine. I can't complain. But yeah, so we didn't get to ride the ride. We didn't get to ride the helium balloon. That's a bummer. But everything else besides for that was pretty good. God, the music's loud. At least they're not singing perfect day, perfect day, perfect day, per perfect day. The first hour we were here, they were singing the same song over, like, I don't think they stopped. It was just continuous loop of an hour long song. Luckily, they're not singing that anymore. It is what you expect it to be, where it's just beautiful. You have the great water. You can see all the, the reefs and stuff like that. We saw Stingray while we were going out to one of the swimming bars. It was awesome. Uh, we went up to the little tiki like floating bar and that was like a party and a half like wait more than more <laughs> little, than we would ever do but it's fun a little crazy than you'd expect <laughs> uh, there was body shots and... uh, the, like I don't, I've never seen a body shot like that before. <laughs> I've never seen a body shot in person but right yeah maybe that's what it is you just pour it into a hairy belly button and then just suck yeah, it there was a, it was a lot of hairy <laughs> belly button there were some body hairy shots bones. Uh, the lagoon was Especially awesome. later in the day, so with our last hour there, which was two hours before we were supposed to stop, I mean, everybody was dancing. Everyone in the pool was drinking and dancing and having a good time. It was awesome. Hey, now here's the disclaimer. It, it probably wasn't family friendly. No. No, but that, that's the section of the, bar that, of the park that is swim up bar. Like, are you going to yeah. bring your kid? There were a lot of really cool things about this and that I would, I'm excited to come back. And they worked really hard to make it a destination, and it was. Yeah. Uh, and I lost my C-Pass card, which oh, yeah, I'm, this coming is up, be fun. I'm coming up to a moment <laughs> where C-Pass card is going to have to come into effect. So uh, I'm going to give the camera to Stacy while we that. while we figure this we figure this out because I don't have a C-Pass card anymore. We're, we're not we're we're not sure where he lost it. Possibly while going up to the swimming bar or at the swimming bar. I'm not sure. I lost my seat pass card. What What's your name? My name is Sean. I found. Let me see if it's yours. That'd be awesome. Someone turned in a seat pass card. It might be his. We're not sure. What are the odds it's his? There's no answer. <laughs> We've never done this before, where we lost our seat pass card while out at court. Um, I told him this is probably not the worst place to do it. The private island that is owned by Royal Caribbean. So we're not gonna get like stuck in Nassau. He's got some lists. I don't know. They're doing something. That's the ship security right there. You're from Vancouver, Navigator. Hello, sir. Who lost the car? You? Just came in. <laughs> Such a pig. <laughs> Last day, we are finally at Jamie Oliver's Italian restaurant. We'll try to savor every last moment of today because we get off the ship first thing in the morning tomorrow. I told him I'm debating between just wanting to sleep because I'm tired and wanting to like grasp every last moment of the cruise I can. You want to stay up all night and party it away, but then tomorrow is miserable. It's tough to decide which way we want to go. But we're going to at least eat tonight. We'll figure it out there. Let's do it. But it was good. It wasn't as good as I remember it being on Symphony. Symphony was incredible. Yeah. Super great. I don't remember what. Yeah. I mean, I had lamb. This is my favorite, and I didn't have lamb this time just because I like pasta. The meal was so good. My prawn linguine was really good. The, the prawns were good. The pasta's good. And uh, of course, Stacy's always going to love pasta, so we'll, so it's easy to make Mama happy. Finish my plate. He did not. Our last cruise. Jamie's was our, the best restaurant. This one, Azumi, surprisingly, was out the best. And they were probably going to go back and go to sleep after this. I think that that's what won out. How do people have so much energy? On the last day of a cruise, I'm done. I'm wiped out. Only day four. I'm exhausted. We do eight day cruises. This would be halfway. The problem is that we like jam packed this, this week. Yeah, some people actually relax on cruises. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> My on -win conclusion is that the ultimate dining package is absolutely, undoubtedly worth the price. We paid $26.50 per day. We went to four different dinners, went to a total of three different lunches, 
We added the playmakers three separate times. Uh, undoubtedly, we got our money's worth. Of it. However, based on how I feel right now and how I know I felt throughout the trip, I may not decide to do the ultimate dining package again because there was multiple times where I felt absolutely stuffed to the point of going into hibernation. <laughs> like right now. Like right now. <laughs> I think it pushes you to like use it to the fullest advantage. Probably the same thing with the drink package. We like drank way more than we needed to drink, but um, it's still enjoyable. So. Our last taste of the vacation. <laughs> I'm in Yeah. So today is disembarkation day. We are in Miami. We have 12 hours until our flight leaves out of the Miami of Air, or airport of Miami, and we are trying to find out what we're going to do for the next nine, ten hours. And we're probably just going to go to Miami Beach. It's not, it, it, it's kind of overcast. It says it's 74, which isn't terrible. We're going to get off the ship here soon and see what Miami has to offer for the day. Every trip we like to do a book drop. This year I have a couple new books out, so it doesn't have to be the same two books anymore. Got a couple. This is actually book two uh, that we're going to drop at the Cruise Library, um, which we assume is just a bunch of like donated books people left behind. We're going to leave it here for someone to find. If you find her book, let us know. So we have uh, quite a few hours to kill, so we're just hanging out at South Beach in Miami, Florida. We have our swimsuits in the bags, but we're not really planning on Yeah, we don't really plan on getting in the water. So we're just laying out, people watching. Six hours after getting to the airport and we have finally made it to our terminal and ready to board the plane. We got here early for the flight. Maybe earlier than we should have, but still. You know, we're finished with it. We're getting ready to board our three hour flight to Cleveland. And uh, that'll put a wrap to our trip to Florida and navigate the seas. Go back to work tomorrow. Yep, literally tomorrow. Um, Tomorrow's his birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to me. Four hours. I looked it up, it is 78 days until Harmony of the Seas. We got something to look forward to. There is a light. There's hope. There's hope. All right, but that's a wrap. We're gonna go ahead and get our plane and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.